At Medicine Hat High School, we have a robotics 10, 20, and 30 level class. Uh, the purpose of the class at the grade 10 level is to get the kids learning the, the basics, uh, starting with the drag and drop environment and learning how to program their robots. By the time they're in the 20, they're actually doing some reasonably advanced coding and they're working strictly in Java, which is a great language for them to have to go on to university and also it will get them actual jobs. Uh, by the time they're doing their grade 12 level stuff, uh, kids can count to get into some of the faculties within the province. They can actually use that as a science entry to get into the, the programs that are offered at U of A and U of C as example. I'm rolling to this class because I want to be an engineer when I'm older in college and so this really helps me toward that goal. So I've designed the puppy right here and I've designed a moving tank. I joined this class because I love anything to do with programming, computers, Lego, electronics, uh, it's been a thing I've loved my whole life and how you get to build to your mind's imagination. You can build whatever you want, program it however you want, make it do whatever you want and getting to do it in high school is awesome. It's a good, my favorite period of the day. The cool thing about this class is that it's probably the perfect blend of theory and practical. Because in the first half of the class, we spend a lot of time doing things that, even though the kids are building games, it's a very highly theoretical, like it's, it's pretty abstract. And they have to have pretty good math skills in order to actually even be able to do the level of coding that they're doing already by halfway through the grade 10 year. In the second half of the class, what they're working on is taking that abstract and they're putting it into actual practical application. And so that means that the, the robots have to be able to do what it is that the theory has taught them in the first half of the class. And I think it's because it's more hands-on and they're actually building things, they uh, make a stronger connection to it. It's shown me how to socialize and how I can rely on my other classmates and not be just alone figuring it out stuff. And they help me move along much faster by showing me the path and stuff. Uh, well, I'm looking at doing something with robotics engineering as a future career. Uh, anything to do with that, electronics programming, and doing this is just that step of getting into the programming world. How does it help students? I think that it actually gives them a, a, a kind of a neat application of some of the mathematical and physics and uh, Language, boy does it teach them language because they have to be super editors and able to be, to be able to find all of the mistakes that are in their code because something as simple as a semicolon means that all of a sudden your code doesn't run. On some games you're being held back by what the game will let you do. But when you're on here you're making your own game or you're making your own program and you can build it to whatever extent you want to. 